Hi, this is Loretta Harwell, and I'm filming a video for Scrapbooking with Me Boutique over on Facebook, this time with the Design Team Project for the, I believe this is the May kit. Um, and what you're looking at is a 11 by 14 photo mat that I got several of them on clearance, and I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do with them. And this is another project, and what I've done is turned this into a clipboard, and I have put this into my pantry. I'm going to scoot over just a little bit so that you can see. I took and attached a pen with matching ink color, and on this clipboard, I have my menu, and I'm not on a tripod because I'm actually filming in my pantry, so I hope I'm not making you sick. At any rate, uh, what you see is number one through seven. That is my menu for the week. And I will explain in a minute how that correlates. At any rate, I used the design paper for the background of the clipboard. And the extra wide clothespins, I also attached some designer paper to that. I think it turned out really, really cute. I used some, just some ribbon and some burlap ribbon to dress it up just a little bit, so that gives you an idea of that. At any rate, it has several pieces of paper attached to the clipboard, so that way, at the beginning of each week when I go grocery shopping, I, I actually, I normally go on Friday, that way I can write down seven meals. And I'm going to go ahead and back up a little bit and pan up and around. And if you see, I've got some really colorful baskets in here. Again, I'm going to come a little bit closer so that you can see. I used the design paper to make these really cute little tags. And then I also used the baker's twine that came in this month's kit and last month's kit to tie these tags onto the baskets. And I have numbers 1 through 7. And what it is, is that coordinates with my 1 through 7 list that I just showed you on my clipboard. And the ingredients to my meals are in these baskets. Now the baskets are mostly empty, and the reason why is because... Today is Thursday, and I will go grocery shopping tomorrow. So, I also made tags. I, I have a little bit of an OCD issue. Um, I also made tags, and that one's a little crooked, I can see, because I was leaning up against it. But I also made tags for my little baskets that are in my pantry. And that is so that when I go grocery shopping, I can help my family to remember where things go. So I've got a saltine and snack cracker basket, a chip basket, a sweets basket, a basket that holds frosting and pudding mix, honey, chocolate chips, recipe nuts, and that sort of thing. And then a basket that holds um, nuts, peanuts, and salty snacks. And then beside that, I've got a basket that holds sauces. I also used uh, just a regular cardboard box with the designer paper to make these boxes as well. So, and there I have another box. So anyway, all right, and then as you go down, I also used the designer paper there to make a few more tags for my other baskets. So there you have it, and I'm going to go ahead and come out, and also, just in case you're wondering what all the clothespins are for, we actually use clothespins to close our chips with. You see a hairpin there, I don't know how that got there, but typically we use those to close packages with. And I'm going to go ahead and just back up just a little bit. Just kind of give you an overview. 
So there it is. There's my design team project. I hope this inspires you that when you get your kits in, uh, in the mail, think outside the box. There's a whole lot of really cute and innovative ways that you can use these kits to beautify even the most boring parts of your house, like your pantry. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and until next time, bye now.